Let's mint some Solana SPL tokens in just two minutes. To start, I'm going to make a directory for our project, and I'll head into that directory. And now I'll need to configure my client with an RPC node. In this case, I'm going to use Chainstack, so I'm going to go ahead and launch a Solana DevNet node on Chainstack, on Ashburn, and join network. Then I'll head into here, and I'll grab my HTTPS endpoint here. I'll go ahead and add that HTTPS endpoint into my client configuration, and I'll paste that right here. So now, as you can see, I have the RPC URL set as well as the WebSocket URL to go with it. Now we're going to generate a new Solana account on the DevNet, which we'll do with Solana Keygen. And I'll do this in a new subdirectory of the directory that we just created called Wallet, and I'll name this keypair1.json. You can see we have a new account created and the public key is right there. So we'll want to take this public key and go ahead and fund it with some DevNet Solana so we can mint our tokens. So I'll throw it into this faucet here and we'll click on DevNet. So now I want to make sure that the account that we just created is a default signer in our client, which we can do with the Solana config command again. And then we're going to put in the path of the wallet that we just generated. You can see here, our config popped up again. We have our RPC URL that we created and now the key pair path um, that we previously generated. So we can go ahead and start creating the SPL token itself. So we can start by doing SPL token create token. This will call the default token program on DevNet through the chain stack node that we just generated. And this will be about nine decimals by default. Now we need to create the token account, which we can do with SPL token create account. And then we can paste in the address of the token that we just generated. Now that this account is generated, we can go ahead and mint our SPL tokens. We can do this with SPL token mint. Then we can do the token address. And for this, we'll just do a thousand tokens. So now we've set up a project, created an account, funded that account with tokens, created a token, and minted the token. And you can see that it's minted those 1,000 tokens and sent it to our token address. We can go ahead and open the Explorer back up, refresh it here, and check the token section, and you'll see we have this new SPL token that we've just minted. And if you'd like to learn how to deploy a vesting program and then vest these tokens that you've just created, then you can do so through the thread that I've linked below this tweet.